So today we're going to be doing a jungle bird and like inevitably whenever we do like whenever we redo a video there's always a couple of people in the comments that are like wait a minute didn't they do this cocktail before I, I think they re is this a redo I think they're redoing a cocktail but then I looked back in the history of the channel and I just cannot find the other original video is this original video or did they redo it yes we're redoing it um, but the reason why we're redoing it is because there's a couple, there's a couple of reasons why we, re we redo old videos. One of them is because uh, this channel used to be called Drink back in the day. So I would open the video with, what's up guys, welcome to Drink. No, nope, that's not didn't how I? you open it. Like, oh, how did I open it? He's like, hi guys, Oh, that's right. Drink. <laughs> Sorry. Here, you know, honestly, if you want to see the way that I used to open the show, let's just roll a clip. Hi guys, welcome back to Drink. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a daisy. You see, that's why we redo videos. That's the exact reason why we redo videos. So today we're gonna to be making a Jungle Bird. Um, the other thing about this is that the last time I made a Jungle Bird, I made different specs. I wanted to do the original specs this time. Um, this is a fantastic drink. It's from the Aviary Bar at the Kuala Lumpur Hilton, circa 1978. And uh, the Kuala Lumpur is in Malaysia. Had to, uh, had to uh, look at the old Google. And by Google, I mean Marius yes. for that information. Uh, I don't know what else to say about this. I don't have a particular bartender name on this. It's, it's hot outside. I want to make tiki drinks. This is one of my absolute favorite tiki drinks. I don't have a jigger as per usual. There's rum inside my jigger. So I'm going to have to just rinsey poo it a little bit. One second. And then there we go. Now we can actually make the drink. And... The original, the other one, the last one that I did was a whip, I did a whip shake and I did it down in a rocks glass. It's actually originally inside a Collins glass and we're gonna be using this nice Hamilton Beach uh, drink mixer to give it a, what is called a flash blend. Uh, anytime I make cocktails from Tiki cocktails where I blend it in a blender and make mm -hmm. it like a, like a slushy style, people get really upset. They say, no Tiki drinks have ever been made slushy style, but that's not true because a Cobra's Fang is one of them. Okay. So you and you know one. a pina colada is another one, even though a pina colada, people say it's not a tiki drink, but it is a tiki drink, in my opinion. And, uh, and my opinion is always right. So there you go. And somebody commented on the old video say that it's like Malaysia's national drink or something. Oh, I hope it is because it's a fantastic drink. All right, we're getting into this. And I don't know why I just said fantastic like I'm from Chicago. That was weird because I'm not from Chicago. I'm from Boston. And my parents are actually immigrants for another country. So I don't know why I would sound like I'm from Chicago. But anyway, they say drink fantastic time. fantastic in Chicago? Well, I said, fan, I said the way I said oh, it okay. was like, like I, I, I had a Chicago accent for a second there. All right. Half an ounce. It almost makes me think like, should I do a shot of Malort? But no, we'll save that for the, uh, for the Chicago videos. So half an ounce of simple syrup. Half an ounce of lime juice. Then we're doing a full two ounces of pineapple juice. Then we're doing three quarters of an ounce of Campari. And then we're doing two ounces of dark rum. I'm using Karuba because I like it. Two ounces of Karuba. If anyone wants to buy us a virtual bottle of Karuba, we're gonna need more soon. Um, so I kind of lied about something a little bit. This technically the original cocktail had an ounce and a half of rum and then four ounces of pineapple juice, but I upped the rum by half an ounce because I'm an alcoholic and, uh, four ounces of lime juice is just way too much. Just FYI. This is closer to what they do at, um, Smuggler's Cove. All right. Then we're going to do a little... Pebble ice, and we're gonna give it a nice little Can you... flash blend. What? No, that's fine. The nice thing about a flash blend is that it gives it aeration like you would not get anywhere else. Once I pour it in this glass, you're gonna see. I'm I'm now re I'm not now thinking that my glass is a little bit short for this. I probably should have gotten the big one. Ooh, there it is. That's nice. I, I would have liked to have actually topped this up a little more ice, but then we're just gonna add our palm fronds 
And by palm fronds, I mean pineapple not palm fronds. fronds, but pineapple fronds. And then we're going to do that. And that is our jungle bird. Let's taste it. Whoa, man, that's so good. So what's great about this drink is that you get the acid from the lime balanced out with a little simple syrup and you get that pineapple and you get the rum, but then you get the Campari right on the finish as you drink it. And it takes something that would be sort of ho-hum and sort of like, eh, to something that is incredibly gosh darn good. And that's what I love about this drink is that it balances out with that bitterness from Campari. This is the type of drink that will take somebody who says they don't like Campari and make them like Campari. Um, I did up the rum a little bit. So, you know, I have like a little, you know, I have a little, it's a little bit more rummy than you would if you just had an ounce and a half. Don't think it, I don't think it throws it off balance. Quite honestly, I think that that pineapple and Campari can really support actually a little bit more rum. So that's what I like to do with it. But if you want to do the original specs, add two ounces of pineapple juice and then take down half an ounce of the rum. And there you go. So there you have it. I don't know. I've been doing these. I've been railing through videos today, just doing them very quickly. I just don't know what more to say about it. And I don't want to just ramble on anymore. Marius has been very silent today. Mm -hmm. So that's no help at all. So there you have it, guys. The, the, the Jungle Bird. I don't know. Go out there. Make some tiki drinks. Drink a Jungle Bird. Have some fun with it. And I'll see you guys in the comments. See you on another time. If you like our channel, hit like and subscribe. Check us out on... Uh, I, I'm so used to saying Patreon, but... Oh, yeah. Patreon's kind of not a thing anymore. It kind of is, it kind of isn't. You can give us money on Patreon if you want. We're keeping it going. But we're really focusing on the YouTube membership. So if you want to do a YouTube membership, we've got like member-only polls. Right now we're running a poll where, where uh, I'm giving everyone uh, options. Everyone's voting on it and making their own cocktail. Uh, what else do we got? We're going to have um, extended cuts and exclusive videos mm -hmm. and stuff like that going on. We're kind of getting into the groove of things, you know, lately. And... Uh, you know, slight, slowly expanding as it's we, happening. you know, we, we have kind of a, a very robust video schedule. So it takes us a little minute to get to these things, but we, we are getting to them and everything. And everyone's really happy on our memberships. I think so. You should be a member too. Check out our Teespring. If you would like some awesome Barfly merch, um, you can also look below our videos because it's linked to YouTube. So you can see the, the, uh, each, if you don't have an, a, like a, I think if you have an ad blocker up, you won't see it. But mm -hmm. if you turn your ad blocker off, then you'll see these lovely t-shirts just below down here. I don't know. Anything else? That's it. I guess that's it. See you on another time.